Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to World of Tanks Blitz. And today we will be taking a look at my second ever tier 10 heavy tank, which is the E100. Um, of course, the only other tier 10 German heavy tank at this time, besides the mouse. Um, and, well, I recently unlocked this. As you can see, I have got the... 150 um, millimeter gun on it. The um, yeah, the 15 centimeter KWK L38. Um, and we're going to be taking a look at the E100. So, 95% protection, 80% firepower, 92% shot effectiveness, and 20% maneuverability. So, yeah, the maneuverability isn't great. The protection is almost. 100%, so it's almost the best protection in the game. Not a very high firepower and shot effectiveness makes this a very strong heavy compared to the mouse, which has got 18% maneuverability, 92% shot effectiveness, 75% firepower, and 100% protection. So, yeah, the mouse is slightly more protected than the E100. It's got a similar. Um, I got a similar shot effectiveness, not quite as much firepower, and slightly less maneuverability than the E100. Um, but taking a look here, the hit points, it is 200 HP less than the mouse, um, which has got 2,500, which is the most in the game. But that's still a high amount of HP. As for the armor, 200 at the front, 120 at the sides, 150 at the rear. Turret armor, 250 at the front, 150, 150 size and rear. Um, now, the E100 does differ to the mouse, obviously. Um, the E100 doesn't quite have a strong armor. As the mouse, it does have slightly less sides and rear turret armor, and it does have less side and rear armor than the mouse. Um, however, unlike the mouse, which has got this sort of round turret, um, D100 has got a very flatter turret. Um, it is almost the same turret, except it's been shrunk down a bit, and it's got a flat, um, a flat sloping hull. Uh, turret front rather than this rounded hull, which means that unlike the mouse, which you've got to keep in line with your tank whilst you're angling, the E100 can um, the E100 can just sort of stick facing towards people because it does have strong frontal armor, strong frontal hull armor, uh, turret armor, which is 250 plus sloped, even more so than the Yag Tiger. And as we know, the Yag Tiger has got a very very thick frontal turret, um, and well, this has got well, the Yag Tiger's got very strong front, um, very strong uh, frontal upper casement armor, um, and this is the same thickness but sloped back even more, which gives it even more effective th armor thickness, which means that's very strong. As for the front of the hull, obviously the lower glacis is the weak point, is the weak point of the front of the hull. However, the up, the upper hull. Um, the upper glacis says 200 plus, very steep angle means that that is a, an auto ricochet basically. Side armor is 120 as well, um, which is very good, it's the same as the uh, E75's side, which is also 120, which means that this thing will do alright at side scraping. Um, it, it, it does all right at size scraping, plus of course the um, tracks will absorb some shots. Um, the turret, of course, angling is always effective as well, so yeah, you can always angle your turret. Um, although not as thick as the mouse, it does have at least 150 um, side turret armor, even if it isn't 210. So stuff may be able to get through your um, turret armor. Slightly better than the mouse, but as a last resort, you can always uh, try and angle the sides. Although, of course, the front of the hull, uh, front of the tire, is what you're going to want to keep pointing at people, because uh, there's lots of high penetration guns at tier 10. Um, so yeah, there's that. But generally, uh, the front of the hull, the front of the tank, very solid. The side of the hull also pretty solid as well. Um, but generally, you can side scrape in this tank, um, as it were. You can also probably sort of angle around the corner like that. But generally, it sort of keep the front of the turret facing people. Um, as for the maneuverability, it weighs well almost 130 tons. Um, that will go down with the 128, but only by 0.17 so yeah it doesn't go down that much um, so yeah but however it does have a 1200 1, horsepower engine same as the mouse and the mouse does weigh significantly more so it does have a better tr uh, top speed 30 30 kilometers per hour um, it also 
has a 20 kilometer per hour, uh, 20 degree, 16.69 turret for us. So once again, yeah, it is uh, one of the you know super heavies. Although no, the mouse does have far more engine power, but the mouse does go slower. Um, the mouse has got a better hull traverse, but a worse turret traverse. So yeah, weighs less, slightly less powerful engine, but um, the traverse speed is well slow. Not quite as good as the mouse, but the uh, turret traverse is better than the mouse's. Um, so I mean, there's that. They're much of a muchness, really, in maneuverability. Um, E100, obviously, that slightly higher top speed, um, and the slightly different uh, traversal speeds, but they're almost the same. Um, as for the engine, of course, here it is, the Maybach newest project. Um, so yeah, the projected engine for the E100, which has got a 15% chance of fire and impact, so yeah, it's got a fairly low chance of fire. Um, as for the tyre, of course, 250 meters view range, yeah, that's pretty standard. Um, as for the suspension, 150 ton load limit, so yeah, you still got a lot to play around with there. Um, of course, the suspension is the suspension E100. Um, so yeah, traverse speed 20.83, which is uh, pretty bad, um, and then of course the 150 ton load limit. As for the as for the guns, you have got a choice of two guns. Um, as you can see, the properties do change with the uh, 128. It does go down to 75% um, firepower. Obviously, the same as the mouse, because it is the same gun as the mouse. Um, but we're going to be taking a look at, well, let's take a look at the stock gun, which is the 128KWK44L55, which is the same gun as you get on the, um, uh, same gun as you get on the mouse. So it's got a 5.18 rate of fire, um, which is, well, let's have a look at the mouse. And that is better than the mouse, but then again, I do have a gun rammer on. Um, of course, if I put the gun rammer on, it's going to be the same as the mouse. So, yeah. Um, it, yeah. It, it's got basically the same damage output as the mouse. It's got the same reload time as the mouse. It's got the same pen of 246 um, or 25. Eight, I think, with um, the calibrated shells, but 311 with APCR, 65 with high explosive, 460 average damage, 390 with APCR, 600 with HE, uh, all right accuracy, 0.36, 5.7 second aim time, um, and yeah, so it's got basically the same gun as the mouse. But the reason that people get an E100 is generally not to have the 128 on it. Of course, as you're grinding out the XP, or if you're waiting to skip it, as as I did, unfortunately, because I just cannot be bothered. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just too impatient. Um, but yeah, this is uh, one of the heavy tanks, or one of the tier 10 tanks actually, that you get to unlock something on. Um, and that is the 15cm KWK L38, which is the gun which was projected to go on the original A100. Um, it does, of course, have a lower rate of fire, being a 3.91, that's including the gun rammer. Um, if I was to mount chocolate then that would go up to 4.09 um, which you know, I could do but yeah, provisions um, so yeah it would go up to about four rounds per minute which is about 15 second reload um, per shot which is mm, it's all right not as fast as the um, 128 obviously but still um, yeah about a 15 second reload with a top gun and um, the chocolate. As for the penetration, it is better than the um, 128, obviously being a bigger shell size. Um, it does have slightly better average pen, 258, which is a bit better, yeah. 334 with heat, which is the premium for this. Um, 85 with HE. Um, the average damage goes way up, obviously, being the larger, larger gun, being 150 gun, meaning it does do um, 640 with AP, um, 550 with heat, um, and then 960 with high explosive. The dispersion goes, does go down slightly. Uh, yeah, it does go well, down, up, I don't know. But it does get worse slightly, being 0.38 dispersion at 100 meters. Which is uh, is pretty bad, but then again, one two eight on uh, 
sorry, 122s on Russian tanks do have worse dispersion. The aim time as well, not that great, 5.7 seconds, which is mm, a bit slow. Um, but it is the uh, which lots of people use on the E100, which is why this is also called the HE100, and it's also known as, known as the Heat 100, because of people spamming heat from the big gun, because, you know, heat. Um, but the nerf in the premium ammo does slightly dissipate that, but still you're going to be doing more average damage than someone in a mouse, for example, um, just because it's a bigger gun, so it's going to do slightly more damage than the mouse. Anyway, um, but... Yeah, as for the ammunition, you do still carry 50 rounds with this with this uh, big gun. You would carry 72 um, 1 to 8 uh, shells, which is more than the mouse, as you can see. The mouse only carries 68. It does carry, what, 6 more rounds than the mouse in 1 to 8 ammo? But, of course, using the 150, bigger shells, of course, less space to store them. So... 50 rounds. I'm carrying 30 um, AP rounds because, you know, you got to use the AP. Um, I am still carrying 10 rounds of heat, just in case, and I'm still carrying around 10 rounds of um, HG for leopards and SDA2s and things of that nature. Um, so that. Yay, more credits to go with my almost 4 million credits. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am still, of course, keeping um, a, a diverse, shall we say, amount of ammunition. But still, with the rate of fire in this gun, it's unlikely that even if I was to constantly fire as soon as it was reloaded, I'm still not going to be able to get through 30 rounds in 7 minutes, I'm certain. So, yeah. It's always nice to just have a diverse amount of uh, ammo. Of course, provisions, you've got the standard fuel or the improved fuel for plus 3 or 10% respectively to engine power turret traverse. Then th chocolate bar or just chocolate for 3 or 10% respectively to crew mastery. And then you've got protective kit to 15% to, uh, to protection of crew from injuries, 10% speed of module repair, 20% fire protection, and 10% ammo and fuel tank durability. So you can go ahead and put some limit on if you want. As for consumables, repair, first aid, fire extinguisher, obviously, then your engine power boost, 20% engine power for 15 seconds, 75 second cooldown, adrenaline, 20% to load speed, and 10% charge damaging enemy vehicle modules for 15 seconds. Then you've got the mobile purpose restoration pack, which extinguishes fire, repairs all damaged modules, and heals all crew members. So basically, these three things roll into one. So you can go ahead, mount some of them if you want. I go with the standard three, just because, you know, standard three. As for camo, uh, well, yeah, you've of course got the uh, dynamo for the Battle of Dunkirk, you've got Bastille, which doesn't quite work, I don't think, uh, then you've got all of the other random things. As for the crew, can't say much because, you know, Blitz crew skills work differently. Now we come to equipment, um, of course you're going to want gun rammer with the uh, 150 mill gun, uh, then you're going to want protector modules, because who actually uses enhanced cabins, so protector modules. Then uh, I would say coated optics, because Caminet is, well, minus 3% to, to visibility. It's not like you can miss it, it's a super heavy tank. You can't really hide it, so coated optics, go with that. Gonna want enhanced gun lane drive, yep, definitely gonna want that for the uh, better aim time. Just note that you do have slow shell velocity, so it would be nice to have supercharged, but of course you have to choose one or the other. You can't choose nine of them, just straight up nine. You have to choose one from the two categories for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so enhanced gun lane drive, you got that. Uh, go with that. And then uh, your choice of improved assembly or enhanced armor, I would say probably enhanced armor. Because, you know, that's still 210 mils at the front, um, 155 at the side, you know, the 250 will go up to, you know, 265 or something. So, yeah, you'll get much stronger turret armor, so, I mean, that's always nice. Um, so, yeah, I would say probably enhanced armor for this tank. Um, then I would say improve control, because you want the better traverse speed, honestly. Um, it would be nice to get up to higher engine acceleration, but I would say probably... You're going to want the improved control. Um, then I would say refined gun, get it down to 0.36, the same as the 128. So, I mean, yeah, I would say go with the, uh, go with the refined gun. Then I would say enhanced tracks, same reason as the mouse, um, because you get your tracks blown off, sort of, that's it. So, yeah, enhanced tracks, I would definitely say we'll go with that. 
then your choice of whatever the hell those two things are. So, overall, that is the E100, a super heavy tank. Uh, at tier 10, the alternative to the mouse. It's a very strong tank, not quite as strong as the mouse. Um, it doesn't have the super good um, gun handling of the mouse, unfortunately, because the mouse does have a very good gun handling. You can snap off shots really easy, and that's what I really love about the mouse, which is that you can just sort of snap off a shot and then instantly just head back, and it, it almost always flies on target because, you know, German accuracy. Um, but, of course, the E100, the HE100, the Heat100, whatever it is that you're playing it as, um, you know, that's... The, you can't really do that with the 150. Um, so really, you want to roll up to someone, derp them in the face, do a huge amount of damage to them, and then uh, head back with the rest of your allies to let them take the heat, uh, take the heat, as it were. Um, but, yeah... Still a very strong tank, um, and my second ever tier 10 tank, huzzah. So, I'll thank you for watching, and goodbye.